to give you thanks for our lives, to, to bless you with our praise of you, to let you know, Lord, that you are great and that we desire to know you more and more, to come into a relationship with you that is unique and special because we are your children. So bless us with the hearing of your word this day. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated.
how you see all of that? How could you not believe in God? Well, there's one more thing I want to share with you about God's creation. And I shared a little bit of it with you, uh, I would say about five years ago. It's something that has changed my whole understanding of creation and of humanity's creation by the hand of God, the source of all of life. It's a scientific protein molecule, a thing called laminin. It's your body cell adhesion molecule. It is the glue that holds all the cells of your body together. Skin and organs, everything, our hair, everything is held together by laminin. And do you know what's so incredible about this protein molecule? It's in the shape of a cross. It just blows my mind. It's in the shape of a cross. Laminin, the glue that holds our cells together. The body cells are held together by this protein molecule. It's in the shape of a cross. It just blows my mind. Paul says in Colossians chapter 1, He, God, is before all things, and in him all things hold together. The glue of life, all things hold together. This mysterious force, this protein, uh, laminin, is an atom. Uh, it holds an atom together. It's very, very strong, and it's not something you want to mess with, apparently, and that it's kind of like the rebar, as, uh, as uh, Louis Giglio says, it's the rebar of the human body. You know, the rebar is put into uh, cements, you know, to hold uh, foundations together. You put that, that bar in, that steel bar. Well, the glue of life is like the rebar in our body. If something disrupts this force, like a nuclear fission, there's an atomic bomb created. That's how much power we have in our bodies. When an atomic nucleus um, loses this mysterious force, this protein, this nucleus, this, uh, this protein molecule, it can set off an explosion. It emits several hundred million volts of energy. No wonder the Bible says, Jesus, God, holds all things together. This is big stuff. This is powerful stuff. This is serious power that we have within us. And so the infant's first heartbeat your first heartbeat, my first heartbeat, can be traced all the way back to the hand of God, to the mind of God, to the hand, God's hand of creation. It's recorded in Genesis that God began humanity by taking a useless clump of, of dirt, of clay, and, and out of it, out of his creative hand, his creative flair, came humanity. And by science, we now know that among the hundreds and thousands, they're not even sure how many proteins are in the body, protein molecules are in the body, that at least one of them is in the shape of a cross. Wow. The first reading today we heard, you Lord created my inmost being, laminin. You Lord knit me together in my mother's womb, laminin. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made, 
family. And then it goes on in the reading, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body, Lamanin. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be, Lamanin. How awesome is this? When you think about how awesome is this, Lamanin. This is what is in our bodies holding us together. The cross of Christ holding us together. This mysterious force this you, is holding human cells together and holding our organs. It just, it just blows my mind. The force, the glue that holds our bodies together is in the shape of a cross. The cross of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. From the beginning of time, God knew what was going to happen. From the beginning and before time, God knew the symbol of the cross was our salvation, was our life. The glue of our lives is the God who was from the beginning. As we heard in John, who was with God, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. Jesus Christ existed in the beginning with God. And then from Colossians uh, chapter 1, the Son is the image of the invisible God. By him all things were created, both in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. Jesus is before all things, and in him all things hold together. All things hold together. Amazing. Awesome. This creation is held together by the author and the source of all of life, who created this thing called human beings. All of creation can be traced back to the hand of Christ, therefore. The hand of God, the hand of Christ, because Christ was from the beginning. And so that cross is within us. The Lord, uh, from Psalm 33, the Lord merely spoke and the heavens were created. He breathed the word and the stars were born. He assigned the sea its boundaries. And he locked the oceans in vast <laughs> reservoirs. Let all the people of the world honor him. Let everyone stand in awe of him. For he spoke and the world began. And then in Ephesians, to follow that up, Ephesians chapter 2, we are God's handiwork. We are God's workmanship. We are God's masterpiece created in Christ Jesus. So here we have God, the author and the source of all of life, and Jesus who was with him from the beginning. And we are created with the cross of Christ in every fiber of our being. So today we need to be reminded of the love and the care that God put into creating us that we live with the sign of the cross, not just written on our foreheads at baptism, written on our foreheads and on our chest. We live with the sign of the cross, not just on our minds and on our hearts, but written deep within us, the very essence, the very depths of what we are and who we are. The God of heaven and earth and all that is, is the God who claims you and me as his creation. And so we don't just wear a logo on our shirt, our t-shirt, or on our back pocket of our jeans. We don't just merely wear a logo. We are imprinted. We are imprinted. Every fiber of our being is imprinted with God's signature in Christ Jesus, Lamanin, the cross of salvation, the cross of life.
the cross of hope. It is this God, it is this Savior, who holds us together, who holds us in the palm of his hand, who holds us together in our struggles and our difficulties. It is Jesus Christ himself holding you and me together. He, hold, he can hold us together in our darkest nights, and he will hold us together no matter what comes our way in the face of adversity, the face of pain, the face of temptation or sorrow. Our DNA is sin-soaked, but the glue of our human existence is Christ, his cross, our hope our help, and our salvation. What holds us together? Our Savior, our Christ. And he says, I have called you by name, and you are mine. And so when you pass through the waters, they will not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned, and the flame will not consume you. I have called you by name, you are mine. And so you and I may have gotten our genes from our parents, but God has given us, you and me, the glue of life, laminin, the imprint of salvation, the sign of the cross. His cross holds you and I together. How wonderfully made we are, says scripture. The God of heaven knows your name and has made you a promise and made me a promise that he will hold us together all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Heavenly Father, oh, how we are humbled by the deep imprints in our lives. We are humbled by that cross that holds us together. We are humbled by the creation that you have made around us, the birds that sing, the water that flows, the mountains that rise up, the sun that shines bright, and the moon at night. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are the one who has given us life and that you have not set us on a course alone, but that you are with us, within us, holding us together, Lord. How amazing, how awesome is that? Written with the sign of the cross deep within on our minds, on our hearts, deep within. Heavenly Father, we thank you for a journey of life that begins and ends in you here in this world unto life everlasting, where we will know you face to face. But in the meantime, Lord, we are reminded of the beauty of your hand of creation here right now in this world. And we thank you, Lord, for your hand of healing and your your loving care for each and every one of us. And so for those that we've named in our prayers today, for Lance and Deacon Chris, for Kennedy and Joanna and Sue and Elaine, for Fred and Dr. Ireland, for 